All right, what's up, YouTube? Kyron from Gosh Introductions back up in here with another video, and today we got another video with my man Remy. Okay. Yeah, so um, we're gonna crack into something that everyone's been talking about. They want to know my opinions, and I'm sure you guys want to know Remy's opinions also. So we'll get right into it. We've got the Zapto blade. I have to be using these a lot back in my my work days, you know. But um, we'll get right into it. So Remy, you want to know? You want to tell them how you got the package? Yeah. Well, uh, I unfortunately missed out on the on when they released saw on Supreme because. The, the Friday actually, because they didn't even drop on the Thursday, they dropped on a, a Friday. Which I was very surprised because normally they never yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it kind of maybe it changes stuff for uh, their servers and stuff like that after. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they dropped on the Friday. I got them in card, but I wasn't able to to check out. Mm -hmm. but, but I'm surprised. Like I've seen so many posts of people that I never see buy Supreme that were like, oh, I ch I checked in at 11:11 yeah. 11, 11, and it was all good, which is I mean good for them. Uh, the shoe I wanted out of the three colorways was definitely the camel one, even like if numbers wise this was the most produced ones. Mm -hmm. Like the it goes white ones, then black ones, then camel ones. Oh you guys you like you found out actually. Yeah, because I mean they had to cancel orders for the white ones. Okay. Because they had too many. Like you, you could see on Reddit a lot of people were like, I got I got an order confirmation but nothing for a long longest time and yeah. then suddenly your order got cancelled. Right? Exactly. So yeah, this is ha this has to be one of the most hyped up releases this year, sneaker wise. I mean, put this on the table. That's your pair. <laughs> so we got the camo Supreme Jordan Fives. Pretty cool. This is your first time seeing them in hand too, right? Yeah, man. I mean, the the canvas quality is really, really nice. Yeah, I'm surprised to say that myself also. Because, you know, like with Jordan Brand quality, recently it's been iffy. Like, so far yeah. I found this year, like, the Shattered Backwards exactly. and, like, the Oreo 4s are, like, the best quality-wise. And also, like, Fragments, stuff like that, if you want to throw it in the mix. But, like, this is really yeah, good. Yeah, definitely. And I like the placement on because, you know, the camo is always different placement. Mm -hmm. like, some like, people don't get too lucky with their Jumpman in the back. Yeah, but, exactly. I mean, <laughs> So I really like yeah, everything, like it's... Yeah, your jump man is pretty on point. Jump man, jump man. I mean, they actually, every little detail, I'm sure everybody saw it, but like there's the supreme detailing inside the lace lock. Yep. I really like, I mean, at first people were thinking like, oh, they kind of went a little too simple with it yeah. and stuff like that. But if you look at Supreme's track record, I think you can trust them with collaboration. Like they know what they're doing, especially yeah. when it's like, an iconic model like they did with the Dunks, Air Force Ones or whatever. They have they have the ability to see long term like every almost every Supreme collab they've done, you can still wear them today and they don't look yeah, aged exactly. at all. So. And the thing with these is like it was very easy to like make a five look tacky, you know? Yeah. Like, like if you throw like a all over elephant print it looks kinda like messed up, but like this they executed it well and they kept yeah. it pretty And this easy. is a, a pattern that Supreme uses a lot, like I have the, the cap pack yeah. over there that's the same. Pull that up. Yeah, so. Boom. I bought that a long time yeah. before buying the shoes. Exactly. <laughs> and then, like, I see some people do like the full camel fit, that's a little too crazy. No, for no, me, no. Like... Or even the, the, the tiger fit, I'm not that. Yeah, like, no, I got. No. I was able, I got the, the t shirt and I got the, a pair of sweatpants yeah. from the web store, but you could do, I guess, two out of the three masks. Yeah, like, two I, out I, of I wouldn't three, see, like, like What's the what's even the point? Like you're just almost yelling. I bought all this today, you know. Like yeah. you're just doing too much. So like, mm. some people gotta tone it down. But this is really dope. Like, yeah, how they executed. Yeah, it. everything's nice. Yeah. So like, what we wanted to do is like, along with these, jog through like what Nike has done with Supreme as well, because Remy's lucky enough to have owned a couple other dunks yeah. and stuff like that also. Yes, so uh, we'll run through yeah. those, and also we'll give you guys some detailed shots after of these. So they have a better look, yeah. but that release is pretty dope. I like the whites the best out of the Yeah, I really think because they're gonna age really well, yeah. super clean. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be because they're gonna be easily identifiable with the '94, which yeah. is all you're gonna need. Exactly. And I mean, what's also kind of dope is like the the model that the colorway that inspires this one, like the the regular metallic white uh, fives, yeah. are also a slept-on colorway. So mm -hmm. that's 
if ever you see that shoe in the future, you know it's gonna it's gonna mean somebody knows his shoes, whether exactly. it be the Supreme or the OG. So, exactly. I mean, they really, really kill it. I mean, just for people like who have been following Supreme, I, I'm not saying I've been doing it since day one, but for a long time, it's just who would have thought that like a skateboard company would actually get to design a design Jordan? A Jordan, like, Jordan like brand Nike brand. is one thing, but a Jordan design. I mean, think, think about it. Undefeated got a collab. Mm -hmm. Who else? Oh, oh Jordan? Yeah, Jordan, Jordan Brand collab. Yeah, yeah but that's like, like, he's like an athlete yeah, more than a collab. But like, you have to think like, it's always like power players, like power yeah, yeah. people in the culture that are Because like, they don't need to do collab. Like, there's no reason for Jordan Brand to, to risk anything. Exactly. So the fact that they were able to do that, and not only that, they didn't give him like, an Air Jordan 15 to work with. They actually got a Jordan 5, which is, if you ask most people, it's gonna be Jordan 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. They're like the top Jordans for everybody. <laughs> so they got to do one of these. They, they left on the crazy uh, 3M flash because that was introduced yeah, on the Jordan 5 to be true. like, because it was a. Uh, when he did uh, the jump. Yeah, like, no, no, like the, the pictures. For the tongues, it was, yeah, for the pictures, like uh -huh. it was against the flash all the exactly. time. So like when he was dunking on people, you, exactly. could, you actually got the flash on the shoes. Very true. So yeah, just amazing. But like Nike and Supreme have had a long, long, long relationship. Crazy. Bro. And it all started off in 2002. Yeah. With uh, this gem, it's it didn't come in an SB box or anything. Yeah, I mean, like the OG. Yeah. Orange and brown. I remember this when I was like a youngin. I was getting like little Air Maxes and stuff <laughs> like that. And this is the first time that elephant print was used outside of Jordan brand. And it was on these bad boys and like releases back then were really really different like you had to go to supreme see if they had your size if they didn't you'd come back because they didn't get like they got a few shipments over yeah. the time anything but like this was really like one of the first collaboration nikes that i remember being like whoa this is this is special right here like yeah. there's thought there's details there's a lot of things that went into this at the time, it was only like a sixty-eight dollar retail yeah, shoe. Yeah, like that's. But like, I mean, think of that like people, sixty-eight bucks. If like. you if you feel at the leather, I mean, we'll compare later to, to the newer yeah. ones. But I mean, look at the inserts or like the inside is. Super or even comfy. like the padding on like the yeah, it's insane, you guys. You know, like the elephant print. It's the it's not the OG OG before the Peter got involved, but it's still <laughs> that lighter, that lighter. Because now the new ones like the it's really really dark the elephant yeah. print. Like it kind of looks almost like the first version yeah, of fakes exactly, exactly. but now like this i mean they did obviously there's this one and there's the white and blue yeah. ones mm -hmm. so again simple inspiration like you take a jordan 3 and you do the most but you're still keeping all the integrity of what a dunk, of what a dunk is. is the integrity of a full on dunk. so and they age super well like if you got i'll show you especially the black pair i mean like all the little creasings and the leather just yeah. adds character so this came out 13 years ago it and doesn't look like, yeah. strong, like and there's not no yellowing yeah. of the soul or anything okay. like that. so that was their first go around which was a huge success power moves definitely, <laughs> definitely. and uh, the, the year after that they came out with another collab with nike sv this time there, there was a sample of uh, not these exactly but a low version of these yeah. of the three colorways mm -hmm. Wait, instead of the now iconic golden stars, true. It was just the Nike logo in gold, but Nike like scrapped that idea. They're like, no, we're not down. So they they were only able to do the the high tops. There's, and they're all like based on classic dunk colorways like Syracuse, yeah, the yeah, the red ones yeah, and the blue ones, the North Carolina ones. And these are the ones I was able to get. The, I got them off Instagram. I don't know if you know. Um, Gusto Ninja, I think is his name. No, he no. always gives out the best steals. The only thing is, you have to be like on it. Yeah, literally. Super fast. Like and I know you're the, one, late. you're the one to like act quick on these. Yeah, things, because, because you know the good well, price when you see. When it. you've been searching literally yeah. for like yeah. almost a decade, <laughs> exactly. You gotta know when to pull the trigger, especially now the market is so so low for SBs that even the best ones are still drastically lower. That's and these came out with, in my opinion the best lace lock you could ever think of. I mean, yeah. those are just yeah. so fire. That's supreme. I mean, crazy. So again, another, like, another banger. Like, they really, the two years in a row, they just killed it. It's crazy. Right? So after that, I don't know if, if it's right after that, but eventually 
Nike really liked Supreme so much that they allowed them to create their own model, the SB94, I think they called yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and they which, do a couple other like skate model. Yeah, they did a, they did a, I forget the name a recent, right now. Right? Like, I think recently they did one too, but I don't know if it was. Well, they, they've done a, uh, uh, I think it was a Delta Force SB is what they call okay. They stopped them, but they discontinued that model. Okay. And afterwards, uh, they had the they did this one, which is I think on, on a lot of uh, sneaker people's like top lists. Out of the again three colorways, there's white, black, and red. To me, the best one is depending on the day, either the black or the red. Yeah. How flashy yeah, you want to exactly. be. Yeah, exactly. If you want to do but the red, or you want to do any any pair you have, like the quality is. Really, it makes it. You know what it makes you think of the Don C twos, except like ten years before. Yeah, exactly. Like, like that quilted type of thing, it. like the good snake print. And speaking from like the standpoint of when I did the Don C review, like it's very like up to par of that quality of leather. Like, yeah, it's uh, even the inside is leather. Yeah, like, and you can either. It's funny to say that the, about the Don C's because they have this with the Gucci inspiration. Yeah, the Don C's have the Chanel inspiration, so. Yeah, and I mean, there's even the tiny supreme writing yeah. on the gold in the back, yeah. and I mean, just little details like I don't like if you're not into shoes that much, you don't you don't necessarily realize. But to have a machine that presses out the Nike and <laughs> stitches all around, yeah, that costs money, like lots it, of it, money. So trust that's why you don't see it all the, the time. Money. Like even it ages. I think it ages well because you can tell that it's actually really like super clean cut real leather yeah, real that leather. got reinforced with the stitching Did you know if this is genuine leather the whole shoe yeah i'm pretty sure it yeah, is i uh, you might i might be wrong mm -hmm. if if i am please tell us in the comments in the comments definitely yeah let but us yeah know i mean I, yeah you know you got your size 11 right here definitely. so again another home run like uh they seem to do no wrong in most collabs they're killing it right now so that's another one the blazer which is a uh, an underutilized nike model Very and now we come to uh, like more some of the more recent ones because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't able to get a pair of because uh, the first non SB shoe uh, that Supreme did was the the Air Force ones. Okay. And yeah. then they did the now super super popular those uh, those Planet uh, racers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Luna yeah. Luna long ones yeah. that go for. So those much, are the only pair of Planets I have, but they're super comfortable. But look at the hindsight that Supreme had, like. Can, like before the whole runner wave in mm -hmm. North America, they came out with an all black runner with like tiny branding yeah, on the side. Super minimal branding. Super and minimal. now it goes for so much more, yeah. which with reason because of the whole like ASICs, mm -hmm. New Balance, exactly. everybody yeah, like even race. Nike and Adidas have been, been doing really good. Sure. But like it shows like did, I think it came out in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was 2012. So like or 2013, absolutely. But yeah. still, it goes to show that like. It, they can they they really know what they're yeah. doing and they they never go overboard like this has to be one of the wildest like attempts they did yeah and it's With still stars, like, it's, very it's still like more wearable like mm -hmm. it still takes inspiration on a classic sd Definitely. so yeah this is this this the next shoe came out 10 years after the first ones we showed you mm -hmm. and it was a, a reimagining of most people's favorite SB. Yep. But this time, they, instead of being black, they went with a little bit flashier red with the uh, cement print. You can see what I was saying about like the darkest yeah, cement print. Yeah, very true. And again, like the quality. This this is my best example of quality over time. Like it's not because just because it's the same brand that you're gonna get the same quality. Yep. Like this is very important. Nike is very yeah, like, like very. Look, look, I can barely. Perfect example of that. Yeah, like, and compared to that yeah. one, like it's broken. Could you yeah, give yeah, yeah. Me real quick, that I, Damn, feel, I feel like it's like it deserves to be shown on video. Definitely. Like this is the same company doing the the collaboration with the same other company, just to, to show how like standards can change, right? Uh, I'm sure you could see the the difference, like how I move this leather. I'm probably gonna take a video of that after with the 50 and just yeah. like show you because like, like it's, it's amazing. It's super super malleable mm -hmm. it's actual good thing this, and this is super stiff and it looks know, like plastic that got sprayed with like fake leather or and, it, and it pains me because like when i first saw this color i was like it's a dope colorway amazing this colorway is so dope and what they did with the yeah, inside, the inside the like all the little details is like perfect really dope but like they just killed it with the color I mean, yeah. uh, 
a quality issue for me. But I mean, that's that's Nike's responsibility. Yeah. I mean, Supreme designs not, it, and yeah. they, they get shipped out to Taiwan. But still, it would have been nice that because Nike can do a premium shoe if they want to. Oh right? yeah. Because so, look at their back history. You got yeah. this. You got the one. Yeah, and even out. now, like uh, like. In, like the shattered backboards, like yeah, the quality they can still it. be there, so they have it. Don't tell me that it's like impossible <laughs> or trying to change too many people, blah blah blah. It's just they don't need to, I think, honestly. So that was kind of yeah, <laughs> that was kind of a letdown, but still, I mean, it has to be one of the greatest colorways for dunks, definitely. Because again, I'm sh this will age super well in another yeah. 10 years, like. Already like super no easy to clean too. Super yeah, easy. I mean the dunk clothes to me are super super well. Yeah. Okay. And the last uh, Nike slash Supreme collab that I have is this one. The forces. I did a review of these two a while back also. Yeah. Again with the iconic '94 branding. Yep. And like we've shown with almost every model, it's not the flashiest. But people who know mm -hmm. will know, Definitely. and the quality is almost always there. Air Force One High, which has been getting more, well, the mids have been kind of getting yeah, more praise. Yeah, definitely. But I've always been a fan of the straps on the high more than the ones on the mid. Okay. So, like, the, the fact that you can do your Rashid Wallace and hang it Yeah, like exactly, that, on the I back. I always like that. Some people even, like, let it dangle. Different different yeah. styles of ways to wear it, definitely. And also, the, the tiny, tiny little uh, Supreme on yeah. the Air Force One uh, the Gray. Yep. Little tumble leather on the swoosh. And again, it's not the craziest or uh, like the flashiest, but that's not what I wanted. Yeah. I wanted just a wearable Air Force One that was a collab with a exactly. brand that I really like. So exactly. that was perfect. Just like uh, the Jordan 5s. I mean, there's always creativity, but it doesn't have to be full on. It doesn't have to be full. Yeah, you know? exactly. And Supreme knows how to do that too because I feel like if they flooded it with like, let's say they wanted to put a big ass fucking box logo on the side, you know, like they don't have to do that, you know, mm -hmm. like they, they know what they're doing. And it's a design point of view and they kill it every time. So. And I also feel like they always try to respect the shoe they're actually working with. Yeah. They're not trying to make it, okay, it's not even going to look like an Air Force One, it's just going to look like yeah. a Supreme. Like this is so New York. Like, yeah, exactly. On, you it's know? classic Uptown. So, yeah. so again, yeah, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm always uh, looking for uh, the 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 running uh, the racers yeah uh, the, the supreme the one because yeah, uh but other than that uh i'm really happy with uh, most of the shoes i have obviously yeah, i'm always looking for the a white pair of the old the uh, lows yeah and and pull these back out just cause yeah we started yeah with. definitely so and then, yeah again you can see there's so much little details like they did on the like on the air force one it's on the lace lock yeah. on this one it it's again on the lace lock on top like and they even put it on the same side that has the Jumpman, yep. the Supreme, Very true. 3M tongue, the back, I, we didn't show it, but I, I'm sure people have seen this. Yeah, definitely. And it's backwards, <laughs> like it's supposed to be. <laughs> like upside down and all yeah, that. Yeah, man. Very true. I'm really excited to try these on, Definitely. Man. It's gonna be a killer. Yeah, and the, this colorway will age super well. Yeah. I, I have, uh, I really think there's not gonna be a lot of creases with this material. Oh no, because it's like, it's almost like a twill like type thing, yeah. you know? And like how I felt like when I first, the pictures do not do this justice at all. Cause when I thought, nah, saw this, I thought it was a joke. I really didn't <laughs> think it was a joke. I was like, nah. Yeah, the only pictures that I actually liked was uh, the official Nike ones right yeah. before from Nike Lab. Yeah, very true. Apart from that, it was, uh, yeah, like you said, it's underwhelming yeah. for what the shoe actually is. Also, shout out to Jacob. Cool. He took a nice Instagram picture of these before it came out, I think, too. And it was pretty cool. Also. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it grew on me a lot. And also, now that I see them in hand, like it, it deserves the, the hype that it had at the time being. And they're smart not to put it in New York and LA because yeah. there would have been problems. There would have been serious problems. Could have could have only gone wrong. You yeah. Know, right? <laughs> you know, like you've seen what happened with the phone pass. It's like, and that's um, a phone. Like, that's exactly. Not a, <laughs> it's not a Jordan. <laughs> Yeah, man. So yeah. Let's do some. You want to do some on feet real quick? Yeah, sure. We'll do right. on feet and then also like I have some detailed shots of that because I know it's kind of dark here, but it's whatever. So I'll go be good. But um, yeah, Kyan from Glass Introduction signing out. Have all the social media in the description and 
he has a big cartel. You yes. Link that in the description. If you could check it out, it's Remzashudo Kicks. Yep. Dot bigcartel dot com. I also have a, an Instagram for mm -hmm. it, or if you can follow my main Instagram, it's at Remzashudo. That yep. you really appreciate it. Like and Re like Remy like helps me out with so much supreme shit. Like you guys don't understand. Like anything you need, like I'm sure he's he'll, he'll be able to answer your questions or anything like that. So if you want to Instagram him. Yeah, so always willing message. to try. If I don't know the answer, I'll say yeah, I don't know, but I won't know. bullshit you, yeah, that's for sure. sure. <laughs> he's he's going to be 100% honest with you, so yeah, man. definitely. Trying to help others, that's yeah. what it's for. So, we're signing out. Yep. Peace. If I should make it right When I pulled up to the light And then my phone started ringing Love it's in the calendar Don't know why But I know a sign when I see it